How are you guys doing? Today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an individual profile on Thibaut Courtois, the starting goalie for Real Madrid, and he's the starting goalie for the Belgian national team. Of course, I don't have to say how impressive it is to become the starting goalie for one of the most valuable soccer clubs in the entire world, but of course, out of all of the people that play goalie in the world, Thibaut Courtois is definitely one of the world's best. He definitely uses his size to his advantage if you're unaware of how he plays, and he has an incredible story and he's been a very integral part of a lot of amazing teams and the he has been the a lot he's been the reason why a lot of those teams have been able to hold up their trophies so um if you're not familiar with Thibaut Courtois he stands at about six foot seven inches tall uh he, of, I mean of course he's very quick very nimble very flexible which of course makes him an incredible goalie very aggressive but he's, he's very smart in how he uses his body and it's just no, and it's and it's been proven. He takes a lot of risks, and it and it tends to pay off. And it and it shows in every single game. He's an amazing goalie to watch, whether he's playing for Real or while he's while he's playing for Belgium. But just to give that, that's just a little bit of background. So he or so just to get in, just to give a little bit more context. He's from Brie, Belgium. So of course he's the Belgian national goalie. Uh, but before he was a member of the Belgian national team, he played at Genk which is one of the best teams in Belgium for his first couple of years. Uh, he would he would eventually play for the Genk team when they got called up when he was 18 in his in 2010 2011 in his final season there he would allow or in the 40 matches that he would play he would allow 39 goals in the season and following that season of course he was the best goalie in all of Belgium and he was officially named in 2011 to the Belgian national team right then and there. And that summer was when he was moved to Chelsea for, uh, he, he signed a five-year deal at Chelsea for a reported 9 million. And following the, his season in which he recorded 14 clean sheets for Genk, he would be signed by, uh, he would be signed by Chelsea, but he would officially get, he would get officially loaned out to Atletico Madrid as soon as he got there. So he would get a start in Atletico Madrid in his age 19 season in 2011-2012. And he would start 37 games in a season where Atletico Madrid would finish uh, fifth in the table. But in 2011-2012, they would go on to win the Europa League, which was an incredible feat at the time. And he was, of course the best player or, or he was the one of the most important players on the team this is when Falcao was leading the team in scoring uh in Europa League he would go on to allow seven goals in the 15 matches that he played with eight clean sheets uh and then in La Liga itself he would allow 37 or 35 goals in the 37 matches that he played with 15 clean sheets and that was his introduction to La Liga as a teenager even though he, I mean, even though uh, he wasn't, or his, 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 even though his team wasn't necessarily top four, he was definitely making the world, he was making his presence known. And after his first year at Atletico Madrid, he would come back for his age 20 season in 2012-2013. He would start 37 games just like he did the previous season. But in last season where he allowed 41 goals, this season he allowed 29, 12 less goals than he did the previous season in helping Atletico Madrid finish with the third best record in La Liga. They went on to win the Copa del Rey as well, and they did win the UEFA Super Cup after winning Europa League. So, of course, Thibaut Courtois was there for that. And this was, this was all in his first couple of years there while playing in the same league as Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and... No, just in some of the best soccer players that the world has ever seen. This is Thibaut Courtois holding his holding his own in his second year in La Liga in his age twenty season, uh, and then not to mention in Champions or in, you know, in, a, in so j- just the fact that he had twenty clean sheets within that season in La Liga should say enough for how well he played. Uh, and then after 2013, he would return to Atletico Madrid for his final season. He played Atletico, and he played. And this is a player that was owned by Chelsea. He extended his loan in his age 21 season. He would play 37 games for for an Atletico Madrid team that actually went on to win La Liga. So they actually. 
that was the only trophy that they won that year. But the fact that they were able to win in such a very in, in such a tough league in Thibaut Courtois last season, of course, would speak to how well he played the goalie position. In La Liga, he would allow 24 goals in 37 matchups, uh, which, of course, was the lowest amount of goals that he would allow. And he played 37 games all three seasons. He did this while finishing with or he finished with 20 clean sheets on the season, just like the year prior. And, of course, this would be yet another season that cements Thibaut Courtois as one of the world's best. And when they made Champions League, he would concede six goals in the 12 matches that he played with five clean sheets as I believe they would lose in the quarterfinals. Or no, in 2013-14, they were the runners-up to Real Madrid when, when Real Madrid beat them. And that was the... So that's... That's how great Atletico Madrid was. They won at they won La Liga and Thibaut Courtois got them to the finals. But yeah, following that, they would not advance. And following that amazing season in which Thibaut Courtois made his presence known, he would actually represent Belgium at the World Cup in 2014. And after making it and after finishing top of their table with Algeria after winning their knockout stage. They would go on to beat the United States in the round of 16, 2 to 1. And then they would end up losing 1 to nothing to Argentina before Argentina went on to lose. This was the year that Germany went on to win the World Cup. But of course, but, but Thibaut Courtois was a member of that Belgian squad that got the team there. And following his World Cup stint, he would return to the club that originally that, that originally owned him, uh, Chelsea, and he would come back to Chelsea in his age 22 season in 2014-2015. In that season, he would start 32 games in a season where Chelsea actually won the Premier League. So this so this is coming off of a La Liga. So this this is a guy who won the the Pro League in Belgium. He won it in Spain, and he already won it in England in his very first season back. In the Premier League itself, he would allow 30 goals in a 32 game or in the 32 games that he would play. And they also went on to win the England, like the, the football, the, the League Cup final. So they won two trophies that season. And then Thibaut Courtois. So first in, 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 in the FA Cup, he would, un, he would not, or in the League Cup, he only allowed one goal uh, in the entire tournament. And they, he finished with 13 clean sheets in the Premier League season, establishing himself as one of the best goalies in all of the Premier League. So, of course, he was so, so of, of course, his, his, his presence was, was known. It was, it was, it was noted. It, it was noted there. And then the season after that in 2015, 16, his age 23 season, he was actually hit with injury. He only played 23 games. Um, and, he would he 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 suffered a leg injury and he missed about three months of the season, and in that season in which he missed a good chunk of it, the or the Chelsea Football Club would end up finishing tenth in the Premier League. And in the games that he played, in the twenty three games he played, he allowed twenty nine goals. Um, of course, not playing up to the best that many people would necessarily expect of him. But um, after that lost season, he would compete with Belgium at Euro 2016. And then in 2016, they would go on to... They, they would place out of their table with Italy. And then they would go on to lose in the quarterfinal to Wales. That's how they were knocked out of Euro 2016. And following that season, Thibaut Courtois would return to Chelsea for his third season there with this club he would play 36 games this would be the first time and this would be the most games he ever played for Chelsea in a season and in his third season back at Chelsea he would win them their second Premier League um, as he allowed 28 goals in those 36 games as of course you know the, the, as, of, as he was continuing to show the world how dominant he was showing his dominance stretching his dominance across all leagues and Within the Premier League itself, in that season, he allowed, like I said, he allowed twenty eight goals. But he also had sixteen clean sheets. That is the most Premier League clean sheets that he was able to amass for twenty sixteen seventeen. 
and they that was the only trophy that they won that season but they still the, the, but in it, but to win two premier league titles in a three years span shows how of course how important Thibaut Courtois was and following this 2016-2017 season he would come back for his final year at Chelsea in 2017-2018 where he would start 35 games in a season where they finished fifth in the Premier League, where he allowed 34 goals in that 35 in that 35 game span. He had 15 clean sheets. This is the second most amount of clean sheets that he ever put up in a Premier League season. But of course, uh, Chelsea wasn't scoring as much as the other teams, and they would of course fall a little behind. Uh, and they, but they would go on to win the FA Cup final. So that was another trophy, yet another trophy for Thibaut Courtois. Following this 2017-2018 season, his age 25 season, there's already a player that won the Belgian title. The, we already won La Liga in Premier League twice by the end of the season, by the way. Um, he would go and compete with Belgium at the World Cup. This would be the second World Cup he competed in. This would be in 2018. Uh, and then in this World Cup, which was in Brazil, first of all, they placed out of their group stage after they beat England one to nothing that was the last game of their group stage in the round of 16 they would go on to beat Japan three to two in the quarterfinal they went on to beat Brazil the hometown team uh they beat them two, or they they didn't beat it wasn't even Brazil it was in Russia but still they beat Brazil two to one they went on to lose to France in the semifinal but they still faced off against England uh there's the the, the second place team from their group in the in, in, in the bronze medal game and in the last game Thibaut Courtois would keep a clean sheet to help Belgium pick up the third place uh, medal in the 2018 World Cup so of course Thibaut Courtois was a very big uh, was a very big part of that World Cup effort and for, in the World Cup as, as a total he would allow only two goals in the or he would allow only five goals in the seven matches that he played as he finished with three total clean sheets in the entire tournament. Not to mention that in 2017-18, he would join Real, or following then, he would join Real Madrid right after Cristiano Ronaldo left. Um, but right after, he would jump in to win the, would help them win the UEFA Super Cup and the FIFA Club World Cup that came with it. Um, so... Thibaut Courtois, of course, was there for that. And in 2018, or the, the, for, that was for 2018, 2019. They were going to win the, they finished as the runners up in the, in the Super Cup, but they did win the FIFA Club World Cup. In Thibaut Courtois' first season there, uh, he would start 37, or he would start 27 games, missing a good chunk of it. Uh, but he and he would allow 36 goals, of course, not playing up to his best. As Real Madrid would finish with the third best record in the entire in, in, in all of La Liga, as the only cup that they did win that year was the FIFA Club World Cup. And in the FIFA Club World Cup, he would allow two goals in the two matches that he played, as they, like I said, they were able to win it. Uh, and following this 2018 2019 season, which was kind of a lost one for Real Madrid. Courtois and company would come back for the 2019-2020 season, which of course was impacted by COVID, which was the most recent full season that he played. Uh, he would start 34 matches and allow only 20 goals as he finished with 18 clean sheets. That is the second or the third most amount of clean sheets he would have in a La Liga season. Uh, as he helped Real Madrid win the, they helped them win La Liga, and they did win the Supercopa de España. They did win two of those trophies, so of course, a great season from them there. Uh, and Thibaut Courtois, of course, showed that he was able to return to form with yet another amazing season. And when they went to Champions League, they finished, they lost in the round of 16. But in Champions, in Champions League, he would allow 10 goals in the seven matches that he played. Not necessarily his best, but he would, but his La Liga season would show that he was he, he he was back to form and this would lead us kind of to where we are now at the end of this current 2020 2021 season which technically isn't officially over 
Real Madrid are currently tied with Barcelona for the second best record in the table as they sit two points behind Atletico Madrid with or with, with, with this season coming to a very abrupt halt. Uh, they have three more La Liga games to possibly take over their so this is a this is a possible with by the between this profile and the next one they very well can have another La Liga title it's really going to be up in the air but it really comes down to how they played these last few games in this season so far in the 35 matches that he started Thibaut Courtois only allowed 26 goals so far the less goals allowed than matches played by nine uh, he has 16 clean sheets on the season which is of course another historic season in La Liga this so far is his fifth season in La Liga with at least 15 clean sheets and Real Madrid like I said is very much in the running uh, and they were very much in the running for Champions League as they got right before they got knocked out by Chelsea in the semifinal after losing three to one um, but that is currently where he stands his season is just about almost over as we are leading into what is going to which what was going to be Euro 2020 because of COVID but they're going to make it in 2021 so that'll be a lot of interesting stuff too but I think as it leads to right now Thibaut Courtois is one of the best goalies in the world he has shown countless times from when he was expected to lead Atletico Madrid as a teenager up until now he's been he's been one of the best goalies in the world for a full decade now and I think he deserves respect and for this 2021 calendar year I do believe that Thibaut Courtois is an elite goalie he is very amazing at what he does on the pitch on and off the field and with that said I want to thank everyone for listening to all 16 17 minutes of this piece I hope all is well and if you ever get a chance watch Shiba Courtois he is the six foot seven starting goalie or he's, he's the six foot seven yeah starting goalie for Real Madrid and for the Belgian national team both of which are amazing soccer clubs to watch especially because he holds it down very well on the, on the defensive end thanks once again for listening to this piece i hope all is well and peace out i will catch you with another episode tomorrow once all of today's exhibitions and matchups have finished being played uh, once again today is tuesday may 11 2021 out here in this quarantine i'm james sims and this is the elite peace out and i'll catch you tomorrow